subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Leafy Sea Dragon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I got, Hero. It's a marine aquarium and it has special saltwater plants in it. Look at that pretty seaweed, Hero. It looks like it has eyes. <gasps> it moved. Did you see that too? What do you think? Is this seaweed or an animal? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what is it? You won't believe it, Leo. It's an animal. The name of this animal is the leafy sea dragon. It's a type of fish. Leafy sea dragons are similar to the more famous seahorses. It looks more like seaweed than a seahorse. I wonder if it eats seaweed. No, it doesn't. The leafy sea dragon is a carnivore, which means it feeds on other animals like tiny shellfish and shrimp. It has a mouth that looks like a straw, which it uses to suck up its food. So there's no food for the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. The aquarium isn't a good home for the leafy sea dragon anyway. It needs to live in the sea, where there's plenty of food for it. And the best place for leafy sea dragons is in the waters of southern Australia. That's the only place in the world where they can be found, and also where they can be safe. There are laws in Australia to protect leafy sea dragons. People are not allowed to remove these rare animals from the sea without permission. Then let's take the leafy sea dragon back home so it can stay where it's protected. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky, you got here fast. What's going on? I want to make sure nobody comes too close. A storm just hit this area and it washed a heap of seaweed ashore. Leafy sea dragons live among seaweed, so they often get washed ashore with the seaweed when the waters get rough. Oh no! So there might be leafy sea dragons lying in the seaweed? I'm afraid so, Katie. I'm looking through the seaweed to find them. I want to put them back in the water quickly so that they'll survive. We'll help you, Ranger Rocky. That would be great. Come in. Look, I just found a leafy sea dragon in this pile of seaweed. If you find any leafy sea dragons, Put them in here. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Good job, Junior Rangers. We found all the leafy sea dragons. Since we're taking our leafy sea dragon back to its natural home, we can also bring these, Ranger Rocky. That's wonderful, Leo. Please, take this. Look at how much seagrass there is. This will be a great home for the leafy sea dragons. There they go. Stay safe, leafy sea dragons. We did it. We found the leafy sea dragons a home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! found a leafy sea dragon in my marine aquarium. We learned that leafy sea dragons are very rare animals that look like seaweed. They hide in seaweed so that other animals can't spot them. And we took the leafy sea dragon home to Australia because leafy sea dragons are protected there. Good job, children. You did it. 
You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Asian palm civet. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet? So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Oh no, come back, Civet It's going to another plantation We better go after it Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea Ugh, This place smells the smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There, on the ground. That's not our civet, it's a wild boar. Poor boar. I don't think it deserved that. There you are. You got us worried. Great. We found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the jeep. We did it. We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone. an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. 
So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian star tortoise. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball. Hey, where could it be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Come on guys, let's continue on foot Look Leo, there is a man over there What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. So he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. Hero, wait for us. Oh, wow. There are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew. Let's put them back into the container carefully. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it. We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places. 
and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The reticulated python. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? Just bark if you find one. Don't worry. There are no snakes in this garden. That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. What is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. Don't worry, Snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally, they eat small animals like rats and birds, but they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They are just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Katie, but the mother python disappeared, and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python, then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. 
Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe, but only the mother python is still missing. There's the mother python. Let's keep a safe distance. We did it! We found the mother python! Hooray! Yay! We found a python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there!